the machine again. Oh, Pat, you're back. I can't believe it, dear. Where have you been? I'm sorry. Sorry? It's been a fucking year, Pat. I thought you'd died. OK, have a miss, Mud? Well, I nearly went to jail because of the Horizon scandal. Oh, were you involved in that, then? Of course I was. I'm a postmistress. They accused me of stealing thousands. Who accused you? The man they sent round to tell me I was a criminal. They sent someone here to see? Yes, demanding I paid them back thousands. Did you have to get a lawyer? Not exactly. So what did you do? I sucked him off. Of course you did. He went away very happy. Mrs Miggins, you're a fucking legend. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Wow. Who'd have thought the whole scandal could have been solved with the suck of a cock? And may I say, Mrs Miggins, <laughs> you've always known your way around a man's penis. <laughs> oh, Pat, you're too kind. <laughs> I will never forget... What, dear? The very first time I met you, Mrs Miggins. Oh, now you are going back. <laughs> it was many years ago. Indeed. But I sometimes wish that rude guy could go back in time. Oh, you soppy cunt. Good morning. Oops. I am your new postman. Oh, hello. My name is Pat, and uh, that is my van parked just outside, and you must be Mrs Miggins. That's right, Pat. Afraid I've got a bit of a cold. Oh, best not snog you, then. What do you mean? Snog me. Well, dear, you're the new postman, and I always kiss the new postman. <laughs> and then I ride him like a horny bull. <laughs> Would you look at the cock on that? Yes, uh, very impressive. So you uh, sleep with all the new postmen, do you? Oh, yes. Or at least suck them off. But anyway, I don't want to catch your germs, so off you go with the post. Yes, I'd better go and introduce myself to all the villagers. Uh, thanks for being so friendly. Fuck you later. Well, she was nice. Fuck's sake. Will you stop using that language? It's our first day and I want to make a good first impression. The local postman should be kind and friendly. No matter who he meets on his round, he should smile and say, Oh, which inconsiderate twat's fucking park like this? Unbelievable. Uh, oh, hang on, mate. Hang I on. I don't fucking come, believe yeah, it. If I scratch this through, car mate. on the first come fucking day... Come on, you get a day, bus through there. A bus my ass. Yeah, I must be the new post, eh? And don't tell me you must be Hitler. Leave my moustache alone, mate. What's this? It's the mail. As you block the road, you can fucking deliver it, Adolf. There's no need for that, mate. Well, this is a good start, isn't it, Yes. We've met two locals. One's a slag and the other's a Nazi. What the fuck's going on here? I knew I should have got a four-wheel drive. Fucking hell. Don't tell me I'm... No. Move you... Oh, fuck my old boots. Could my day get any fucking worse? Oh, dear. You're still here then, Posty. Well, I'm stuck in the fucking mud now, aren't I? Thanks to you, Charlie Chaplin. Unless you're a bit mental, you'll soon learn. You need friends in this village, not enemies. I don't need twats like you as friends. Uh, where are you going? See ya! Uh, you can't just fucking leave me here, you <laughs> twat! Watch me! How's your first day going, Pat? It's fucking wonderful, thanks for fucking asking. And who's this? Jeremy Bloody Clarkson. You know the definition of a good farmer, Jess? It's a man who's... Oh, watch the piles. It's a man outstanding in his field. <laughs> outstanding? I love that one. Oh, who's this? Another local, but he's got a tractor, and he might have a chill rope. That could be useful. Hello! I wondered if you were... I wondered if you could help me. I'm, I'm the new postman, look. I'm stuck in the mud. I wondered if you could pull me out. Happen I can if you get out the fucking way, dozy bollocks. Right, three point turn. Oh, shit. Five point turn. Fucker! Think you've smashed your lights. Oh, shit, Sherlock. My name is Pat, by the way, and uh, this is my van, and you are... I'm not fucking interested here. Tie this to that. Bloody hell. Come to the country, they said. Country people are so fucking friendly. God. Let's talking. More working. All right, happy chops. Get ready to steer. Ready? Born ready. Let's go. Steer, you cunt. Oh, Careful. Watch out for the felt on the floor. Right, that'll be 500 quid. Excuse me? Peter Fogg's the name. Everyone knows me. 500, all right. You've only got four fingers. 
your thing bin fucker. 500! This village is fucking unbelievable. At least Dick Turpin wore a fucking mask. Oh, great, another fucking local. Be nice, be nice, be nice. Hello, you must be the new postman, I guess. The van probably gave me away. My name's Ted, and I've just been at the top field there, just doing a little bit of dogging, if that's what you've come for. Dogging? What the fuck's dogging when it's at home? Probably be easier if I show you. I'll put the tent there. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Aye, it was a good turnout today. Never seen so much jizz. Oh, shit. It's the fucking law. Quick, run for it. Fuck my old boots. Wait for me. No, I can't get caught again. Right, quick, over this wall. And... Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, nearly broke me glasses. Oh, we've lost them. Oh, bollocks, I think I've broke my leg. Oh, you're fucking joking. No, not really, because if I was joking, I'd say a farmer walked into a bar with a chicken up his fucking ass. Of course I broke my leg! All right, all right. Look, let me think about this. You can't run, so you can't escape. But I can, so I was never here. <laughs> you absolute ass. Come back here and help me. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, because I'm not here. Seriously, Jess, I am never going to watch Country File the same way again. I won't believe a fucking word John Craven ever says again. Be nice, be nice. Hello, I'm your new postman. The name's Pat. I've got your mail. And, oh, are you a doctor? And are you the village idiot? I'm dressed like a doctor, so yes, of course I am. I've just had an idea how to make a friend. Uh, grab your coat, Doctor. I've got you a patient. Very well. One moment. You see, I can win people over and be friendly. What the fuck have you come as? I'll have you know this is very trendy. I'm sure it is, if you work in a fucking circus. Seriously, you look like one of Ken Dodd's diddy men. Seriously, when rude guy contacted me and offered me a job, I did not fucking think I'd be stuck out here in the middle of fucking nowhere with you fucking arsehole. Really? Anyway, back to the script. There is your patient, Doctor. Oh, thank God. Right, what seems to be the problem? Is it this? Ah, oh, you fucking cunt! Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you he's broken his leg. I'll fucking have you, Postman. Oh, you won't be doing anything for several months. Now, tell me, could you put your weight on it? Aye, just about. Right, if I remember correctly, the last postman left. Yes, his stick. I was expecting to see you at the tent, Doctor. I was too busy. Yeah, I've got you a stick. Friend. Oh, fuck me, this hurts. It will do. You fractured it in three places. That's three places I'd never go again. Should I be walking on it if it's fractured? Probably not. And I'd also cut back on the jogging if I was you. I'm sure your knob would be grateful. Hopefully you've got some private health cover. I think you'll need it in this pissing village. Where's the nearest hospital then, Doctor? Well, I don't know. I've never left the village. Never left the village? What are you talking about? Well, you'll soon find out there's no hospital, no airports and no pub. No pub? Now you are taking the piss. But thank you for your help. It has been greatly appreciated. Not a problem, because as a private patient, that's just earned me 500 pounds. Four fucking fingers, love. Four. Honestly, this village is just full of rip-off merchants. This is me just on the right here. Ah, oh, there's lovely... <laughs> I would invite you in for a coffee, but uh, you're a cunt. So says the man with a moustache like a minge. Anyway, the show must go on. Aye, break a leg. Well, I don't know about you, Jess, but I'd say that today hadn't gone as well as hoped for. I think we've alienated the whole fucking village, but... Oh, apart from... Oh, one last chance. Be nice, be nice. Hello! I'm your new postman. The name's Pat. And I'm supposed to give two fucks cos of why. What is it with you people? I'm just trying to be friendly. Well, you just keep your friendliness to yourself. This is my wife. You fucking stay away from her. Hello. Bye. Ooh, she was pretty. Fuck's sake. She gave me the eye. I could get very friendly with her. 
This village has finally shown its true potential. Yes, I think I might like it here. Perhaps Rude Guy's on to something. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing or like, comment and share. Or perhaps even become a member of the channel for an extra perk, like hanging out with Rude Guy on a live stream. He can't wait to meet you in person. Fuck my old boots.